Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I'm going to be attempting the latest Reddit challenge, K2, that is, scaling the highest, most precipitous peak in the newly formed mountain range next to the Kerbal Space Center. Now, regular mode was merely to land there, hard mode was to land there with a full tank, a uh, full orange tank. Uh, and so I looked to the forums and pretty much the first entry was somebody doing it in hard mode. So I figured that I had to actually go a little further than this. Now I've already flown one of these up here, but uh, it didn't work quite so well. So this is my second attempt. My plan here is inspired by the movie called The Man Who Went Up a Hill and Came Down a Mountain. Uh, the idea is the mountain is only uh, 5,500 meters high or thereabouts, 5,550 or 80 or something. Uh, I, I decided to build this rocket with landing gear and a very tall antenna with a ladder up the side so that we could extend the height of this magnificent geological feature and therefore get an even better view of the surroundings from the top of this mountain. Yes, I am actually aiming to not only conquer the mountain, but make it bigger. And so that is the purpose of this very large vehicle. I'm obviously cutting through a lot of this. It takes about, it takes a good few minutes to fly to the mountain and uh, then you gotta stop and try not to lose control. Uh, which is kind of hard given that this thing is very long and unwieldy. I've added three SAS units to provide extra torque, but even then they are struggling to keep this thing in one position. Then there's the problem that jet engines do not have instant response and they, they spool up and down, which can make getting a, a hover altitude well, practically impossible. Also, as you start to move forwards, uh, your air intake increases or something, something, and your thrust goes up, and I almost crash it here, but uh, I do get back control off it, and moving to a view above it, I've been hovering around, and now you see the clock has reached a whole 12 minutes. We've been spending a whole lot of time trying to get this thing in position, and... Uh, yeah, so previously I landed here, which makes it slightly better. I put a, I put the curb in, or the previous Kerbal or whatever, exactly on the best landing spot. A nice flat area, and so I'm trying to use that as a reference point. Hopefully I won't miss it. Now because of the, you know, spool up and spool down delay that these engines have, I'm actually going to do the landing using parachutes, which because I'm less than 500 meters above the terrain, they will deploy to full, uh, fully become fully deployed instantaneously. And it, actually if you want to do this easy mode, get an aircraft and put a bunch of parachutes on them, on it then just fly over the top and deploy the parachutes and as you reach the top they'll all deploy instantaneously and you'll land. It's a pretty good way to do things but yeah I'm gonna try and land this on the top and it's kinda hard because I can't see crap through that fog can I? Duh. I don't know how how am I supposed to do this without instrumentation. I'm looking at the I'm using the um, the the marker for the, for the curb and that's already standing there to try and figure out where I'm aiming at but really it's really hard and the you know the nav ball is kind of inverted from the way I want it but there we go Fredney that's it Fredney is standing very close he's probably got a bunch of lollipops waving them in the air saying right here park it right here Right there, go on, that's where we want the extra height on this mountain. See, this is it, I'll be able to leave this here and I'll, I'll have a higher mountain than anyone else. I'll be able to kind of, you know, sit and look down on the other people that have, you know, landed on mountains because, you know, mine will be, you know, a little bit bigger. Okay, 500, 5,600 and something. See, it's just under 5,600, I guess. There. Five, five, oh, don't fall off the side. Thank you. Okay, so now we uh, we got to scale this mountain, bring it, conquering the mountain on top of the mountain. Because 5,594 is not high enough for me. No, I want to get all the way up above 5,600 so that I can, you know, just feel superior. This Really, this is the, like the Kerbal Throne for the king of the mountain, so to speak. King of the hill has taken a whole new level here. 
I accept that sitting on it resets to the center of mass. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get back up. There we go. Yeah, so that's probably, you know, I don't know, 40 meters above the ground. I don't know. There he is, gazing down upon the territories. He feels quite smug up there, no doubt. So yes, that's that. Landed safely. We uh, also have a full tank of fuel in here, which you can't see because uh, I'm not in control here. Let's get back in. Get back into there. Get back into your seat, man. There we go, full orange tank. Not only hard mode, but harder mode. I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.